hope you all are doing well today we will create this beautiful die design with help of the mold tools in solidworks so let's start first of all i will select the top plane and make it normal from sketch i will select a center rectangle and draw a center rectangle here of the dimensions like this one is 350 and the other one is 250 this one is 250 then just press ok and from here i will add a fillet value to all corners here of 50 radius press ok then from features i will select the extrude boss or base and uh, from here I will select the blind and will give this value as 200 here I just need a draft angle of 2 degree and draft outward press ok now I will fillet these edges and will give this value as 30 mm press ok now I will just make the front plane normal and uh, just sketch the front plane and here I will draw a corner rectangle like this one and uh, I will delete this relation as vertical similarly just click on this and press delete button from the keyboard and give the required shape to this one like this one and here I will draw a center line like this one make the relation vertical here I will just select the midpoint of this line and press control button from the keyboard select this line and add the relation coincident here similarly select midpoint of this one and select this line press control button from keyboard and make relation coincident press ok now i will just give dimensions to this that will be both equal on on either side and i will give 220 this dimension and uh, this dimension is 240 press ok and uh, this dimension is 50 mm press ok now from features I will select the extrude cut and from here I will select through all both side ok press ok from here now I will make the right plane normal and sketch the right plane and from here I will just select the hidden lines visible like this one and here I will draw a corner rectangle like this one exit this one and similarly I will delete this relation as vertical similarly this line relation delete and from here I will just give the required shape to this one like this one and here I will again draw a center line and will give dimensions to these lines first I will select the midpoint of this line and press control button from keyboard and select this line add a relation here coincident press ok similarly this one it already coincident and give dimensions to this as this one is 130 press ok and this dimension is 150 press ok here I will just select the midpoint of this line and will select this line first I will make vertical this line now all sketch is fully defined and from features I will select the extrude cut from here I will select 
the through all both sides and press ok now i will show the solid part here now i will just use the shell command here in order to give the required shape i will select all these edges like this one and here i will give this thickness value as 5 press ok this is not selected then again edit this one and select this face also press ok now it looks better and here i will give the fillet value in order to remove these sharp corners I will select all these edges one by one, these sharp corners and will give here a fillet of 28mm, it is not selected. Twenty eight mm. Just press OK from here. Now I will just add the ribs here so that we can give support to this one. For this, I will select this face and sketch here and will draw a center line here, like this one. now i will select a line here and will select this one and this one again select a line and will select this one and this one press so select from here in order to escape from the line command and here i will just mirror the parts first i will give the dimension to this one as 35 press ok and dimension to this one as 75 press ok now i will just mirror the entities here mirror about this line press ok similarly mirror this line about this center line press ok from features I will select the rib command from here I will select both sides and will give this value as 5 mm and uh, direction this one and will give here angle of 2 degree press ok now we will use the mold tools in order to create the mold and the cavity here so here are the mold tools if they are not visible to you then just right click here and he from here you can add the mold tools similarly here are the mold tools and similarly if they are not visible to you then just search on the command bar then they will appear then i will just select the mold tools from here and here i will use the draft analysis first and will select this one this is the pull direction uh, pull direction means the direction where your mold will be pulled and here i will give this value as 0.1 now here the green color shows that the direction of the mold and this negative draft negative draft means cavity that is in the red color and uh, here the yellow color shows that the required draft when i increase 
here the degree the required draft will be increased and uh, here we just neglect the yellow part in order to create our mold because otherwise it will be difficult for us to create a mold just press ok from here now here you can see all the colors are showing just out from this command and from here i will use the parting line we'll select this one and select the draft analysis just press ok now i will just select the parting surfaces and here i will give this value as 130 mm and press ok now i will select the tooling split and we'll select this face and make it normal we'll draw a center rectangle here we'll give this dimension as 400 and uh, this dimension as 500 press okay now just exit this sketch here it demands the value of this mold and this one cavity uh, from you now just give the required values according to your requirement i just select these one and just press okay now from surfaces i will hide this part now here i will just separate the upper part and the bottom part and for this i will just go to direct editing and from here i will select the move or copy body i will select this body and will choose it upward and just press okay from here similarly i will again use this command and will select this body and move it downward like this one and press okay now this is the part that we require and uh, we create with the help of the mold tools and uh, this is our mold and this is our bottom part this one that was all about today's tutorial and uh, if you find it useful kindly like share and subscribe our video thank you for watching our video